hello, hello. Welcome to Anabo Console, your weekly podcast where we talk about books, games, food, and stuff that caught our attention during the week. My name is Chris, and with me is my beautiful co-host and f- wife, Karen. Where's Where's Karen? Oh, that's right. Uh, she is not here this week. She had a little bit of an issue over the weekend and hurt her back, so she is resting right now. So this is probably going to be a very short solo episode. It's just going to be me. I'm going to be doing something that I've been thinking about doing for a couple of months, uh, probably since we started this podcast, probably since I've had any sort of internet uh, presence at all, any sort of me being online. Um, and this is talking about uh, my gaming memories. Uh, it is something that's very near and dear to me. We are probably going to do a couple of these episodes. Put them up on Patreon. Karen might do some uh, bookish memories or reading memories. And uh, she's going to talk about a specific book, uh, what she likes about it, memories that she has about it, and why it is so important to her. And I'm going to do exactly that with the game that I'm talking about this week. And that game is going to be Star Fox 64. I love Star Fox 64. So let's go ahead and do a quick transition into gaming memories. And we're going to go ahead and listen to the Games and Stuff song that we haven't listened to in such a long time. said Star Fox 64 Um, this is my favorite game of all time I don't have a favorite video game console I do love the Nintendo GameCube I love the GBA uh, the DS um, but I grew up with a 64 now I I did buy a GameCube that was the first console that I ever bought with my own money um, which was Amazing that I was, what, 13, 14, and I managed to save up 100 bucks of my own money to get a GameCube. That was awesome to me. Um, the GBA uh, was something that my dad gave me when I was, uh, I think, 11, um, when I graduated from sixth grade. And the DS, I bought the DS by myself. I think it was one of third, second console that I bought for myself. I bought it with my first job when I was 16 years old, and I worked at a, a pharmaceutical plant as a secretary's assistant. So that was that was kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, no, the Nintendo 64. I got the Nintendo 64 for some reason. I don't know why my parents bought me a Nintendo 64. Um, it might have been because I did have a little bit of motor skill issues when I was a kid. Uh, but yeah, they, they bought me the 64. I remember the first game I had for it was Mario 64. I remember playing a lot of Mario 64 uh, with a neighbor that I had uh, where I grew up. And he also got Star Fox 64. And as soon as I played this game for the first time, I fell in love with it. And I remember, for some reason, my parents bought me the game. Uh, I remember we went to KB Toys when KB Toys was still a thing. Um, I'm, I'm 30, so <laughs> in case this is kind of weird, uh, yeah, KB Toys. And uh, I remember looking at the manual on the drive back home. Um, It was a big cardboard box with the cartridge inside and the rumble pack. It was so fucking cool. All the characters were there. The instruction booklets had bios on all the characters. It was was so awesome. I couldn't wait to get home and play this game. And, of course, I got home and started playing this game. And it beat the shit out of me because I was a stupid kid. And... I'm honestly going to say that this is the game that taught me how to speak English. So if my English is weird and I say say words wrong or stutter or whatever, blame it on Star Fox 64. They did as best as they could a job as to teach me English as possible. And uh, because of that, I know every single line of dialogue in this game. This game is so full of memes. Dual barrel roll. Press C or L twice to roll or, you know. It's 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 such an iconic game. The music, the gameplay, the characters, everything in the game is just fucking iconic. The, the, if you talk to a Nintendo 64 fan, they're going to know this game. Now, this game I played it everywhere I could hook up my Nintendo 64 to. So I remember playing this game at my grandma's house when I would stay over there during the summer. And my cousins were all come and we would all want to play different video games. And if the Nintendo 64 was mine... 
we were playing Star Fox. We were playing multiplayer or single player, and they would get so mad because they had a friend that they would go to his house who also was obsessed with Star Fox. And the only thing they did was just play Star Fox whenever they would go to his house. So going to grandma's house, we're playing Star Fox 2, unless it's your 64 or your PlayStation. Eh. It was a good time. It was fun. Uh, but yeah, this game, I am a, uh, I, I want to say that I am professional level skilled at this game because, holy shit, I am so good at this fucking game. I, I started playing this game in, with my buddy Jorge, and he has the Japanese original version. We couldn't understand anything we were reading or any other words or whatever. I was still kicking his ass. He did not know how the hell I was doing everything that I was doing. And it just feels so right to grab that Nintendo 64 controller and just start flying around and shooting stuff down. And that's that's one of the coolest things that I found about this game when I was a kid. You know, you would have all these enemy ships, all these bad guys coming after you, trying to take you down so that you don't reach the planet Venom and take down Andros. And, and you kill them. <laughs> there's, there's no other way around it. You shoot down their ships... You can shoot them out of the sky while they're falling to the ground to explode. And it explodes. They they die in these ships. I mean, it's something that they fixed in the later releases. You know, the uh, GameCube Star Fox Assault. And I'm guessing in the DS Star Fox Command. Which, honestly, I love both those games because it, it's more Star Fox. Um, but to me, that was wild. That I could kill somebody in a ship. Just make them explode in the vacuum of space it was terrifying to me because i watched star wars when i was a kid and i i was terrified whenever a starship would explode and somebody would die in them but for some reason anthropomorphic animals didn't <laughs> didn't bother me at all i was actually excited i want to shoot down that monkey so I, like i said I, I love the characters i love everything in the game the gameplay is so tight and solid it, it is the type of gameplay that is timeless and nintendo has been searching and chasing uh for this high that they got with the first star fox 64 uh for years because every single star fox game has tried to be a copy of star fox 64 after assault they try to go back to it on the 3ds which is an awesome version which is the best way to play the game right now because not only does it have the 3ds version it has the, the nintendo 64 version um, doesn't have the same graphics, but it does have the same challenges and physics and all that. So it, it is pretty great. So the gameplay is so tight. It is in incredible. It, everything feels the way it should, even though that the controls are inverted and up is down and down is up, which is weird. It still works somehow perfectly for Star Fox. I don't question it every time I grab a controller or my 3DS and play this game. The characters are all fun. They're all animals uh, hum humanoid animals so you got a fox the leader of the group obviously a hare which is the rabbit mentor an asshole bird called falco and of course dumbass slippy which is the mechanic and he creates all the ships and whatever but he's fucking useless you always got to be saving his ass and the music is so iconic you can hear that star fox main theme anywhere and you will identify that as star fox it's almost as iconic as Star Wars, and I don't regret saying that. To me, that is true. I'm gonna say, it. we need a new Star Fox game. Um, Nintendo has fucked us over with these crappy remakes, um, like Star Fox Zero for Nintendo Wii U, which I have, I st I'm honestly, I haven't played, so I know that it's a shitty reboot because of reviews and stuff, which I should probably play for the podcast. That might be a good one-star game to play. Um, but maybe I'll do a, a whole series on Star Fox. I really love Star Fox. It is a near and dear to my heart. It is an amazing game. It brings back so many memories every time I pop in the cartridge and I hear Wolf saying, I can't let you brew that, Starbucks. I mean, it's Star Fox, not Starbucks, but you get it. And honestly, Star Fox 64 is one of the greatest games ever made. It is my favorite game of all time. And if you do have any memories with Star Fox 64, anything that you would like to share with us about Star Fox 64, your love for it, your hate for it, whatever, send us an email at a novel console at gmail.com and we will go ahead and read that on the show. We will talk about Star Fox 64. It'll be an awesome time. And uh, let us know if you also like these little 
episodes, mini-sodes. Um, we're going to do more. We're going to put them up on Patreon. If you like for these to fall into the usual rotation during the week, uh, we can make that work as well. Uh, so just let us know. And uh, in the meantime, we're still going to the arcade. We're going to get to the arcade next week. Karen is going to be back. Hopefully she'll feel better. And uh, FYI, we're working on our new studio. Uh, in the game room, we're preparing an area just for recording purposes. And we will be sounding hopefully better. We will have a better dedicated area to work in so that we don't have to stress about space or knocking into each other or microphones or whatever. So I promise you guys, the show's only going to get better from here. So thank you for listening to A Novel Console. Remember to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at A Novel Console and on Facebook at facebook.com slash A Novel Console. Uh, don't forget that we're also on YouTube. So search for A Novel Console. Subscribe, like, and comment on the videos. And you can find us on most major podcast streaming platforms. Just look up A Novel Console. Follow us. Give us reviews on iTunes. You know, all the good stuff. And uh, our art was done by Metamorphicate on Instagram. You guys can find her there. The link is going to be in the description below. And uh, thank you for listening this week. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. We'll be right back.